Mo and friends. <laughs> and the Coromandel, on top of Mount Moyo, lives a furry monster by the name of Mo. Mo! Mo! In this tree house, he lives with his teddy. So if everyone's ready, I come on and let's go. Go, go, go! <laughs> hey, Teddy, uh, here's that bottle of water that you asked for so nicely. Yeah, as whoa! Well, what's happened to Mo's flowers? How's it going, Mo? Oh, kill it, Gilbert. Uh, not well. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh no, what's happened to your flowers? Well, Mo, not no. Uh, yesterday they were fine, and today, uh, not fine. Ah. Ha! I think I know what might be the problem. Ooh. Come here, Mo. Come here, come here, come here. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Yeah. Show us your thumbs. Show your most thumbs! Yeah, be quiet, be quiet. Don't shout it. I'm trying to save you from embarrassment here. Sorry. Show me your thumbs. Uh, oh. There you go. Oh, dear. Oh, it's worse than I thought. Well, what's wrong with them? Well, they're a kind of orange. Well, all of Mo is a kind of orange. Well, I have it on good authority that to grow flowers successfully, one's thumbs must be green. Oh. Well, do you have green thumbs, Gilbert? Well, well, yeah, I'm mostly green, but I mean, yeah. I don't know if I'd call these green. Oh. Or thumbs, for that matter. <laughs> anyway, those flowers have had it, Mo. I'd get some new ones if I were you. Take it easy. Oh, see you, Gilbert. Oh. Hello, Mo. Oh, Kilda. Oh, dear, Mo. What happened to your flowers? Uh, Mo has no idea. Uh, my most friend Gilbert said it's because Mo doesn't have green thumbs. Uh, they're orange. Oh, I see. Do you know what I think you need? Green paint. Uh, no. Oh. I think you need a letter. Oh, OK. That's the letter G. Capital G and lowercase g. Oh, the letter G. It's time to... Explore! That's right. Now, there's someone who starts with the letter G that might show you how to look after your flowers. Ooh. Good luck, Mo. Sounds good. Uh, oh, orange. So embarrassing. See you, Teddy. That you're carrying the letter G. It's the best letter, and that's a guarantee. Mo loves to wander and roam. If I were you, I'd probably stay at home. <laughs> Take it easy, Mo. Bye, Mo. Cheerio, Mo. Anything that starts with the letter G. Grapes. Grapes? Will you teach Mo how to look after Mo's flower garden? No? Well, that's just grape. Do you know anything that starts with the letter G? There's grass. Grass? Oh, hey, grass. Will you teach Mo how to look after Mo's flower garden? No. Oh, it's not easy being green. Do you know anything that starts with the letter uh, G? Geese. Geese? Hey, geese! Do you know how to look after flowers? I'm not even looking at Mo. Oh, oh, little G. <laughs> Gardener, Kaingaki Mara. Gardener, Kaingaki Mara. Yeah. <laughs> What is a gardener? They look after the garden. Oh, why do people have gardens? Um, so you can have pretty things to look at and oh. you can grow food. Food? What kind of food can you grow in a garden? Um, corn, corn and tomatoes. And tomatoes? What does a gardener do to take care of the garden? 
Um, well, you make sure that there's water and that there's enough airflow. Uh, lots of fertiliser and organic matter is very important. What is fertiliser? Fertiliser is a plant food. And that's good for the garden? That's great for the garden. It's full of micronutrients. So you could have a worm farm. Yeah. Ugh. Gross. What is a worm farm? It's a place where you put worms and then you put the scraps in and they eat all the scraps and they make weeds and you use that to feed the plants. They make weeds? Yep. You feed the plants yeah. worm weeds? <laughs> what? Is that good for the plants? It's, it's plant food. I didn't realise they were making food for the garden. <laughs> Clever worms. Mm -hmm. So how do you keep these gardens looking so beautiful? We're always tending to them, always um, pulling back things so the light can get through, so things don't get too thick, and pulling out the weeds. <sighs> what a beautiful garden. Everything looks so... <sighs> You're a scarecrow, not a scare-mo. What do you do to take care of your garden? Um, water it. Do plants need water to live? Yeah. Oh, just like you and Mo. Yeah. And what else do you do? Make sure they're in the sun. Oh, that's why Mo's plants aren't looking good, because they're inside, no sunshine, and Mo uh, uh, accidentally forgot to water them, so no water. <laughs> do you think if Mo watered the plants and put them near the window, they'd look better? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Whoa. Oh. That little guy looks like he could use some water. <laughs> could Mo please take a look at your thumbs? Uh, sure. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, Mo was told that you have to have green thumbs if you're looking after plants. Why don't you have green thumbs? Well, because I wear gloves. Oh. <laughs> but the saying is that you've always got your hands in the plants, so oh. potentially they would be green. Oh, gardeners are really nice to the gardens, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that gardeners deserve cuddles? Yeah. Do you think that uh, Mo is a gardener now? Yeah. So do you think that uh, Mo deserves a cuddle? Yeah. Can Mo please have a cuddle? Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Oh, hello, Mo. Oh, who killed a Frank? Have you been out exploring again? Yes, Mo has. <laughs> and what did you do today? Um, oh, Mo met a gardener. A gardener what? No, a gardener. Yeah, a guard in a shopping mall? No. A guard in a bank? Uh-uh. A uh, guard in a castle? Uh, Mum will go slow. OK. A gar? Gar. Din? Din. Er. Uh, Mo, can I be frank with you? Mo would love it. I don't actually know what a gardener is. Well, a gardener is someone uh, who helps look after all the things that grow in a garden, like uh, uh, plants and vegetables. Oh, and flowers. Oh, a gardener? Yeah. Oh, honestly, Mo, you've got to stop mumbling. Mo doesn't. Yes, you do. Anyway, it just so happens I know a song about a gardener. Whoa. So what did you learn about today? Gardener. And what was it that sent you on your way? Let to G. Well, I know a song about it. You'll never need to doubt it. So everybody come on out and play. Sing along, Mo. Mo explores. All the interesting places. Mo adores. All the smiling, happy faces. Mo implores. For you to get outdoors. And that means he'd like it very much. Mo would. If the flowers in your garden look unwell. Don't worry. Then a gardener is the person you should tell. Better hurry. They'll teach you how to weed and everything you need to make your flowers as pretty as they smell. Everybody sing Mo. Explores. All the interesting places. Mo and All the smiling, happy faces. Mo and Paul. You to get outdoors, and that means he'd like it very much. One more time. Mo explores. All the interesting places. Mo adores. All the smiling, happy faces. Mo implores you to get outdoors, and that means he'd like it very much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that was fun. Hey, maybe you can take care of your flowers too, Mo. Well, I'm off. See you later. Up, up. Oh, you okay, Frank? Yep, I just thought I'd take a nap in this flower bed. Okay. Shouldn't have picked roses, Al. Oh, there you go, thirsty flowers. Oh, thanks for the water, Teddy. Yeah. How's it going, Mo? I oh, killed a Gilbert. Oh, I see you've taken my advice and got some new flowers there. Oh, they look sensational, Mo. Uh, these are the same flowers. But, what? But no, they were all like droopy before. Yeah, they just needed some water. <laughs> Well, I have to say, I'm impressed, Mo. Huh, your thumbs might just be green after all. Uh, no, 
still orange. Mm. Yeah, probably green under the fur. <laughs> oh well, Whew. all this thinking's worn me out. Nap time! Take it easy, Mo. Oh, see you, Gilbert. Hello, Mo. Oh, Kilda. I see your flowers are looking a lot healthier. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mo watered them. And who taught you how to do that? A gardener. Kaingaki Mara. And gardener begins with the letter... G! Great job, Mo. Well, it's time to say goodbye now. Oh, OK, good day, I know. Hey, Mo, so what other things grow in the garden? Um, oh, all sorts of plants and vegetables. Hey, maybe we could have some veggies for dinner. <gasps> um, oh, also hot dogs grow in the garden too. No, they don't, Mo. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Pair the Coromandel on top of Mount Moyo lives a furry monster by the name of Mo. Mo! Mo! In this tree house, he lives with his teddy. So if everyone's ready, I come on and let's go. Go! 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 Oh. Okay, Teddy, uh, you hold the book. Mo will draw. Got it. Yep. OK, what's next? Hello, Mo. How oh, Kilda. Uh, what are you doing there, Mo? Uh, Mo was drawing a hopscotch court, so Mo and Fur can play. Ah, oh, that's very resourceful of you, Mo. Uh, not just a pretty face. And have you played hopscotch before, Mo? Uh, no, uh, but uh, Fern has said she'll teach Mo. Hey, Mo. And here she is. Oh. Hey, nice hopscotch court. You ready to play? Uh, yeah. OK, so. First, grab the pebble okay. and then yep. throw it into the first square. Yeah. Nice throw, Mo. Mm. Okay, now stand on one leg. Standing on one leg. And then. Mo uh, will we'll try again. Okay, stand on one leg. Standing on one leg. And then. Um, <sighs> Maybe this is not the game for Mo. Another time then. Looking forward to it. Mm. <sighs> You right there, Mo? Uh, not really. Oh, what's the matter? Well, well, Mo wants to play hopscotch, but Mo can't even stand on one leg. Oh, that's OK, Mo. Balancing a bit tricky at first. Mm. Do you know what I think you need? Crutches. <laughs> not today, Mo. Mm. Right now, I think you need a letter. Oh, OK. <laughs> That's the letter G. Capital G and lowercase g. Oh, the letter G. It's time to... Explore! That's right. Now, there's something that starts with the letter G that might help you with your balance. Ooh. See if you can find it. Good luck, Mo. OK. Bye-bye. Uh, oh, maybe Mo should try the other leg. Uh, no, that's not working. <sighs> Worth a try. I think he's got a letter, so I think he'd probably better go exploring. Oh, why are you leaving? Because Mo likes learning, and today Mo has a yearning to no more. Sing! I see that you're carrying the letter G. It's the best letter, and that's a guarantee. Mo loves to wander and roam. If I were you, I'd probably stay at home. <laughs> Take it easy, Mo. Bye, Mo. Cheerio, Mo. Oh. <laughs> Do you know anything that starts with the letter G? Garden. Oh, a garden. Oh, maybe this garden will help Mo balance. If one leg does not working. Do you know anything that starts with the letter G? Girl. Girl? Oh, maybe this girl will help Mo with Mo's balance. No, it's not working. Do you know anything that starts with the letter G? Glow stick. Glow stick. Do you know how to balance? No. Do you know how to party? Yeah, you do. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. <laughs> oh. Oh, letter G. 
Gymnastics. Takapore pore. Gymnastics. Takapore pore. Yeah. <laughs> Like fun. <laughs> Here comes Mo. One foot, two hands, and a heap. Oh. oh, look at you guys. What is gymnastics? It's when you learn how to do um, cartwheels and handstands and balancing. Oh, balancing. Well, Mo needs to learn balancing. How do you learn how to balance? Going on the beam. Going on the beam? What's the beam? That. Oh! Can you stand on uh, one leg on the beam? Yes. Whoa. Can you stand on both legs on the beam? Yes. Can you stand on no legs on the beam? No. Oh. What else can you do? Can you do big jumps? Yes. Ooh. Can you do roly polies? Yes. Ooh. That's the one. So do you get strong? Yes. Who's got bigger muscles? You have. Holy moly. Mo saw you doing some gymnastics, and uh, may Mo say you are very good at it. Oh, thank you, Mo. Have you been doing gymnastics long? I have been doing gymnastics for 18 years now, Whoa. ever since I was seven years old. Oh, so, no yes, quite a long so time now. It takes a lot of hard work and a lot of practice, but it's worth it in the end because it's very fun. Oh, well, Mo's going to give it a go. Uh, Mo wants to try the beam. Uh, what does Mo do first? Well, first we have to get you standing up on the beam. Yep. And then there's a couple of things to remember. You've got to try and stand up nice and straight and keep a nice tight tummy. And then you need to have your arms out like an aeroplane. And that helps you balance. OK. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Mo's on the beam. Mo puts Mo's arms out. Mm -hmm. And here we go, another step. Just go nice Whoa. and slow while you're learning. Oh, yeah. Mo's doing it. Mo's to walk. Great work, Mo. Oh, nearly. Uh, a few more steps. One, two, three. Mo made it. Okay, hands out and jump. Oh, <laughs> perfect work. dismount. Thanks, Erica. <laughs> well, that was fun doing gymnastics and uh, learning how to balance. Uh, who wants cuddles? Yeah! Oh, I'm always losing my balance. <laughs> oh, hello, Mo. Oh, how killed it, Frank. Have you been out exploring again? Yes, Mo has. And what did you do today? Oh, Mo learned about gymnastics. Why? Are your pants falling down? Huh? Well, I tell you, Mo, there's nothing quite like a nice stretchy waistband. <laughs> pants up, nice and secure, especially on a slender waistline like mine. Oh, uh, Frank. Yes, Mo. Are you maybe talking about elastics? Yes. That's a stretch. Exactly. <laughs> Mo, can I be frank with you? Mo insists. I don't actually know what gymnastics is. Oh, well, uh, gymnastics is a sport where you can practice your strength, balance, and graceful control uh, through different exercises. Oh, oh gymnastics? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and here's me talking about my pants. What pants? Well, these... Oh. Oh, they've fallen down. <laughs> I'll need some new gymnastics. Elastics. Exactly. <laughs> and it just so happens I know a song about gymnastics. Whoa. So what did you learn about today? Gymnastics. And what was it that sent you on your way? Let to G. Well, I know a song about it. You'll never need to doubt it. So everybody come on out and play. Sing along, Mo. Mo explores. All the interesting places. Mo adores. All the smiling happy faces. Mo implores. For you to get outdoors. And that means he'd like it very much. Mo would. If you want to learn to balance on the beam. Like Mo. You can practice by yourself or with a team. Like a pro. You can do amazing things with bars and balls and rings. Gymnastics is the sport that reigns supreme. Everybody sing Mo Explores. All the interesting places. Mo Adores. All the smiling happy faces. Mo Implores. You to get outdoors and that means he'd like it very much. One more time. Mo Explores. All the interesting places. Mo Adores. All the smiling happy faces. Mo Implores. You to get outdoors and that means he'd like it very much. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was fun. Hey, maybe you'll be better at hopscotch now, Mo. Oh. Well, I'm off. Toodle-pip. Oh. Oh. 
You okay, Frank? Yep, I'm just practicing my floor routine. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay, Teddy, Mo is ready. Uh, oh, Fern! <laughs> Brush that off. Hey, Mo, what's up? Uh, Mo was wondering if you'd like to play hopscotch. Ma. Well, fear not, Fern. Uh, watch this. Okay, drop it in the one. And... Some good hopping. Well, thank you. Hey there, you two. Oh, kia ora. I see your balance has improved, Mo. Yeah, uh, Mo has been practicing. And where did you learn to do that? At gymnastics. Takapori pori. And gymnastics begins with the letter G. Great job, Mo. Well, it's time to say goodbye now. Oh, kakite ano. So, what else did you learn at gymnastics, Mo? Um. Oh, Mo learned to do a handstand. Watch. Impressive. What's that smell? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Where's Fern? I think she's on the floor, Mo. Mm. She really needs to work on her balance. Oh dear. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> and the Coromandel on top of Mount Moyo lives a fairy monster. By the name of Mo. Mo, Mo. In this tree house, he lives with his teddy. So if everyone's ready, come on and let's go. Go, go. And then go. the little pig said, Look out for the big bad um, word. That doesn't sound right. Uh, Mo will try again. Uh, the little pig said, Look out for the big bad word. Wolf! Oh, well, this is not ideal, Teddy. How's it going, Ma? Oh, kill to Gilbert. Uh, Mo was trying to read Teddy the Three Little Pigs, but uh, Mo was having trouble seeing the words. Yeah? I should just give up. Oh, but Mo wants to find out how it ends. Well, from the sounds of things, that wolf is going to eat those three little pigs for dinner. Oh, hmm. They do insist on making their houses from unsuitable materials. Yeah, I know. God, this whole bedtime story thing really sounds like too much hard work for me. Just do it tomorrow. Oh. There, take it easy, Mo. Oh, sorry, Teddy. Everything all right, Mo? Oh, no. Uh, Mo is trying to read Teddy a bedtime story, but uh, it's too dark to see. Oh, dear. Well, what should Mo do? Teddy cannot sleep without his story, and uh, Mo likes to practice Mo's reading. Do you know what I think you need? Night vision goggles. Uh, no, oh. I think you need a letter. Oh, OK. That's the letter G. Capital G and lowercase g. Oh, the letter G. It's time to... Explore! That's right. Now, there's something that starts with the letter G that might help you finish your book. Good luck, Mo. OK. Bye-bye. To be continued, Teddy. Starts with the letter G. Giant. Giant. Glitter. Glitter. Giraffe. Giraffe. Hello. Letter G. Ah. Would a giant help Mo read in the dark? No. No. Is glitter going to help Mo read in the dark? No. No. Oh. Will a giraffe help Mo read in the dark? Mm, no. No. Oh. Be something else. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. The letter G. Glowworms. 
TTY. Glowworms, TTY. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Whoa! Amazing! to attract their food mode. So insects fly up towards the light and they get caught in their fishing lines. The glowworms have the fishing lines. Exactly, and they have lots of them, like 10 or 20 or maybe even 40 threads. When they've had enough food, they pull up all the threads and they create a cocoon and they hatch into the adult fly. And he only has three days to live. And in that time, he has to find a mate, have 200 children, and that's the end of the glowworm mode. It's a busy three days. It's a very busy three days. The glow is called bioluminescence. Bio and that's a really... Bio what? Bioluminescence. Bioluminescence? What does bioluminescence mean? It's just a way of saying that the glowworms make their own light. Oh, OK. So they use their bodies to make the light. That's exactly right, Mo. Oh. So why do glowworms live in caves? Because it's nice and dark, and they like the dark. Oh. Insects are attracted to water, like they love oh. staying around water. Oh. So if the cave is wet, there's insects in here, and if the cave is dark, the glowworms can attract the insects. Yes. That's oh, like the perfect place for them. Mm -hmm. No wonder they live here. Yes. Oh, they're pretty clever. Now the problem is, Mo, if you come along and you shine your light in their eyes, yeah. they're just going to turn off, they're going to get mad. And if you make too much noise, they will also turn off. Oh, OK, Mo, we'll be really quiet. That's exactly right. What'd you say? <laughs> oh, sorry, Mo, we're supposed to be quiet. That's right, Mo, come on. OK, sorry about that. <laughs> Can you see any glowworms? Yes. Whereabouts? Huh? Whoa. Oh, there they are. Oh, look, there's one up there. Oh, there's heaps of them. Oh! Uh, so do glowworms glow really bright all of the time? Well, no. No one knows why, but they actually glow brightest in the afternoon. Oh! Also, if they're really, really hungry, they'll glow brighter. Yeah. And uh, if one of them has had something to eat, they actually dim their glow so the rest of their family can have some food. Oh, it's that's nice of them. Yeah. Fun learning about glowworms. Uh, who wants cuddles? Yeah! Ah, cave cuddles. Oh, hello, Mo. Oh, good, Frank. <laughs> Have you been out exploring again? Yes, Mo has. Great. And what did you see? Oh, Mo saw glowworms. Oh, don't talk to me about glowworms. Oh, they're always lagging behind. I say, keep up, worms, but they just don't listen. Hmm. Uh, Frank. Yes. Mo thinks you might be talking about slow worms. Yep. Which Mo has never heard of. Right. Ever. Mo, can I be frank with you? Oh, not this again. I don't actually know what glow worms are. Oh, uh, glow worms are little insects that live in caves and they glow in the dark. Oh, a glowworm? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said something else. <laughs> well, you know what? It just so happens I know a song about glowworms. Oh. So what did you learn about today? Glowworms. And what was it that sent you on your way? Left to Jim. Well, I know a song about it. You'll never need to doubt it. So everybody come on out and play. Sing along, Mo. Mo explores. All the interesting places. Mo adores. All the smiling, happy faces. Mo implores. For you to get outdoors. And that means he'd like it very much. Mo would. Now, if you 
look into a cave and see a light. It glows. It's a glowworm glowing very, very bright. Oh, no. They are bioluminescent. You could almost say fluorescent. And they look just like a starry, starry night. Everybody say, no, it blows. All the interesting places. No, it does. All the smiling, happy faces. No, it blows. You need to get outdoors. And that means he'd like it very much. One more time. No, it blows. All the interesting places. No, it does. Smiling happy faces, Mo implores you to get outdoors, and that means he'd like it very much. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Hey, maybe your new glowworm friends can help you read that book, Mo. Ooh. Anyway, Toodle Pip, gotta go. Whoa! Whoa! Are you okay, Frank? Yeah, so I couldn't see which way was up. Okay. And the wolf said, uh, I'll huff and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. Oh, oh dear, Teddy. Oh. How's it going, Ma? Oh, hey, Gilbert. Uh, Mo's just up to the exciting part in the story. Oh, please, please, continue. Continue. Oh. But the wolf couldn't blow the house of bricks down. And the three little pigs lived happily ever after. Yeah. Oh, phew. So the, uh, so the pigs were all right then, Mo? Yeah, it turns out they were quite smart after all. Oh, that's, a, that's good. <laughs> Not that I was, you know, worried or anything, but uh, that's just, that's good. Oh, well, Mo was just happy that Mo could read the book to his friends. Yeah. Cool story, Mo. All right, take it easy. I'll oh, see you, Gilbert. Hello, Mo. Oh, Kilda. That's a pretty reading light you've got there. Oh, well, that's not a reading light. That's Mo's new friends. Uh, Greg, Gary, Greta, Gabby and Graham. Uh, when they heard Mo was having trouble reading Mo's book, uh, they offered to help. Oh, well, that was very kind of them, Mo. And what are they? Glowworms. Teddy, why? And Glowworms begins with the letter... G. Great job, Mo. Well, it's time to say goodbye now. Oh, kaki te ano. Oh, thanks for helping Mo read the book, Glowworms. Oh, you could say they're turning you into a bookworm, Mo. <laughs> 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 Mo doesn't get it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>